What's going on everybody? My name is Eli and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm finally doing my 1000 subscriber Q&A video. For those who don't remember, I posted a post on my Instagram like a month ago telling people to submit questions for a Q&A video. And honestly, I completely forgot about it. Like, I've been having so many video ideas, I've been making videos, and I just forgot that I said I was gonna do this Q&A video. So, I just remembered, I figured I would record it today after my exam, which I just took this morning. The questions are juicy, so without further ado, let's get into it. For those who are new to the channel, my name is Eli and I'm a first year dental student at Boston University Henry M. Goldman School of Dental Medicine. On this channel, I make videos with tips for pre-dental students as well as vlog my journey through dental school. Consider subscribing to the channel. I make new videos every week and you don't want to miss them. Now let's get into the content of the video. So as I mentioned before, I posted a story on Instagram and allowed people to ask questions that they wanted me to answer in a Q&A video. Uh, forgive me for looking down at my phone as I read off some of the questions. I, I didn't really preview these. I looked at them when people submitted them, but like I said, that was like a month ago. So I definitely forgot what the questions were. Um, I'm gonna be reading them off of my phone and answering them as I go. First question, what made you choose dentistry? Um, so I kind of touched on this a little bit in an older video I did, which was why I switched from pre-med to pre-dent. I think I'm going to make just a whole different video about what made me choose dentistry. Um, now that there's a lot more new followers, like I made that video probably when I was under, yeah, definitely when I was under 250 subscribers. I'm definitely going to make a new video about that. So just to keep it short for this video, essentially, uh, I chose the profession because I like working with my hands, I love science, I love helping people. Uh, the work-life balance for dentistry seemed great. The opportunity to pursue other things outside of dentistry while also being a dentist was uh, something that seemed very prevalent among dental professionals. So, you know, for me, I really enjoy doing this YouTube channel and I definitely have hopes of keeping it up after dental school. So that'll be something that I'm heavily invested in when I'm a dentist and a dentist's lifestyle and work-life balance will allow me to stick to that. Next question, how moving and adjusting to a new city has been for you? Okay, so moving, so okay, to put it into perspective, this is my first time moving out of the state I lived in Europe when I was five, but I obviously didn't have to really do anything but get on a plane with my parents and go. But this is my first time moving out of state. I attended college in state. I lived in dorms and on campus or campus affiliated apartments the whole time, which were pre-furnished as well. So this is my first time having to move, deal with furniture, living in an apartment and stuff like that. It was it was rough, I'm not gonna lie. Like, moving to a new city, it, it wasn't easy, but adjusting has been good. I feel like I found my little community. Yeah, that's kinda how it's been. Next question. What you wish you had done differently in undergrad? Honestly, I will say that one, I wish I decided to switch to pre-dent earlier. I feel like I always subtly knew that um, I had my reservations about being pre-med and going to med school. And if I would have sat down and really thought about it earlier, or at least decided to explore dentistry earlier, I probably would have made that decision much sooner. Also, um, I definitely wish I took my academics more seriously in undergrad. However, I do think that regardless of how my academics went, I would have probably needed one or maybe two gap years before starting dental school because after graduating undergrad, I simply wasn't mature enough to handle this kind of coursework or course load. And that's, that's just facts. Like it's a big adjustment and um, I feel like I'm right where I need to be right now in life. I don't have any regrets from undergrad, but 
I do wish I took my academics more seriously, probably because it would have saved me money on doing a post bat. What do you do on your days off post exam? Favorite form of self care? Days off? <laughs> Let's roll the tape. This is what I like to do in my free time. So yeah, as you can see, my favorite forms of self-care is definitely working out and playing video games. Of course, I also love to hang out with friends, hang out with my girlfriend, just, you know, be social. But, you know, I feel like working out and playing video games is something I can do on my own time. I don't have to depend on someone else. So yeah, those are like my favorite things to do when I have some free time or when I just want to take a break from studying. Next question. What's your favorite part about dental school so far? Uh, I would say my favorite part is definitely working uh, hands-on in a sim lab. What's so cool about being a dental student is that, you know, you start to get that hands-on experience your first year. Well, depending on what school you go to. Uh, it's definitely been a rewarding experience that I chose a school that allows us to get very early clinical experience. That's been the best part so far. Um, and just like meeting meeting new people and meeting my classmates, like I've, I've loved that so far. So some, those, those have been my favorite things about dental school so far. What was the most challenging thing when you started dental school? Honestly, I would say just getting into the routine of studying multiple hours every day, um, always having some kind of exam or quiz that's directly in front of you that you need to study for. Um, that's kind of why I reacted to the to um, the question saying days off because there really are no days off and that's just the honest truth. I spend a lot of my weekend studying. Um, I do more of a relaxed studying type of thing on the weekend but yeah there really isn't like uh free time <laughs> so that was the hardest part like just getting adjusted to being in school mode literally 24 7 from when you wake up to when you go to bed honestly like you're thinking about school okay next question what do you think of bu i love it and that's me being honest um I feel like a lot of people uh, have different experiences depending on what they're looking for in a school. But I will say in short, I am very happy with my decision in choosing Boston University. I would recommend the school to other people. And if you are applying or thinking about applying to BU, don't hesitate to hit me up if you have more questions about the school. But my experience so far has definitely been positive. Uh, I feel like the faculty really is supportive. I feel like my classmates are some of the greatest people that I've ever been able to share a classroom with. And I do truly enjoy being at BU. Next question, thoughts slash opinions on dental school first semester so far. First semester is rough, it's hard. You have a lot of work to keep up with. I usually don't have time to really entertain things that don't have to do with school, but uh, it's rewarding. I like it so far. And um, the course material in itself, I enjoy. What has been your favorite thing about Boston so far? Honestly, <laughs> oh, about living in Boston so far. One cool thing about Boston is that like, a lot of the people, a lot of the black people here are here for school. So you're always meet, meeting like super smart, super like well-connected people, future doctors, future dentists, future lawyers, like everyone that's up here like that's black is like a med student, grad student. It's, it's just like a lot of black ex excellence. So that's probably been my favorite part. Next question. How do you manage to balance dental school and life? In all honesty, it's a work in progress, I would say. Like, I'm still learning how to balance dental school and life. It's not easy to balance dental school and life. 
uh, I just try to set a, set apart some time every day to kind of do stuff that I like to do and not necessarily worry about school. It's not easy to do, but um, you know, I'm, I'm learning. I'm still learning. It's still my first semester. And I think, you know, maybe by next semester or by second year, I'll have more of a grip on how to balance life and dental school. Next question. Is being in a relationship while in dental school hard? Yes, um, but I feel like my answer for this question is different from a lot of people. So for those that don't know, um, my girlfriend is a first year law student and we live together. So we just moved in together when we moved up here to Boston and that has helped a lot in uh, helping us maintain a healthy relationship. But I'm, I'm gonna be completely honest with you, when we're in the house, it's like dead silent and we're both studying our butts off because like we both have so much work, it's ridiculous. So what is nice is that we get to be around each other all the time, but it is hard because we're both in school, we both have responsibilities, like we're both on a mission to get these degrees so it is hard and we do you know try to make a conscious effort to set aside time to go out to eat and just like kind of have a date night type of thing um but i will say like living together really helps and that's probably been like one of my best things my favorite things about living in boston as well next question how you get to 1k sub so fast and that's the last question and I'm going to end it on this, but honestly, let's talk about it. I really do want to talk about that. So it's kind of hard to describe how I got to 1K subscribers so fast, but let's put it in the perspective of this. Um, if you've been watching my videos for a long time, you'll know that, um, I'm really into YouTube and YouTube was a, a resource that I looked to a lot when I was in undergrad and um, you know when even when I was pre-med and after I switched to pre-dent. So when I was in undergrad and I was a pre-med student, I looked to YouTube for motivation because being a pre-med and a pre-dent in undergrad is super difficult. Like it's really hard and especially as a black student, sometimes you feel alone. Literally like you feel alone. You feel like there's no one out there that can help you and you know it's rough so as a pre-med i i came across dr antonio webb's channel and um like it was great like that was something that i watched literally every time he dropped a video i would stop studying and go watch it just for motivation like seeing a black doctor no matter what the video was about i was like you know this is this is some motivation for me to keep going Especially because when I was pre-med, I was into orthopedics and he happened to be like one of the, like, I don't know, he might be the only black orthopedic surgeon on YouTube. And I was just like, this channel is so great because like I see someone in a position I hope to be in and he's making videos, helping people, you know, just showing his life. And it's really, you know, really motivational for me. When I switched to pre-dent, um... Honestly, like if you do a quick search of dental school vlogs on YouTube, you, I did not see any black people. And, um, you know, I, if you count all the dental school YouTubes that you can find, um, the only one that I saw that really kind of stuck with me was future DDS. So sh shout out to Tyrell and Tyler for the, that. Like once I switched to pre dent, that was the main channel that I watched. Um, but on their channel, they, they do a lot more like pre-dent advice and videos about getting into dental school and stuff like that. But, um, you know, on Dr. Webb's channel, he was doing a lot of, you know, a 30 hour on call vlog with an orthopedic surgeon and stuff like that. And like on future DDS, I wasn't really getting like the vlog aspect of dental school or what it, what it's like to be a black dental student. So when I made my channel, it was really just making something that I wanted and that I figured if I wanted it, other people were looking for that kind of stuff too. And then, um, you know, so the number one thing is uh, having a channel with a demand. You never know what the demand is, but 
if it's something that you're looking for, more than likely it's something that someone else is looking for. On top of that, um, I have really supportive like friends and subscribers that repost my videos when I used to post them like on the timeline. Now I don't really post them on my timeline anymore. I'll just like throw it in my story or something like that. Um, so when I started, like I had really supportive friends that would help me out with that. You know, they did it out of love. So shout out to my friends for that. Um, on top of that, like is you can't beat authenticity and consistency. I try to consistent consistently upload. That's the name of the game on YouTube. The more consistent I am, the more people will stick around. And you know, I try to just be my authentic self. I, I know you guys have noticed that I'm not one of those people that hop on with the "What's up, YouTube? What's going on?" and try to be all in your face and stuff like that because that's just not my personality. To be completely honest with you, and anybody that knows me in person knows that. I feel like authenticity is the name of the game. People can smell the fake from far away. And if you're on here putting on a fake personality or facade for some views or some subscribers, it's just not, it's not sustainable. Um, so yeah, sorry for going into a tangent on that, but I did want to touch on that because, um, you know, maybe I should make another video. I feel like I never really made a video about why I started my YouTube channel. So maybe I'll make a bit like one of my next videos will be why I chose dentistry and why I started YouTube. Comment under the video if that's a, if that's something that you want to see and I'll make that video. Um, so anyway, guys, thank you for submitting questions. I love doing this Q&A. I probably will do one again. I feel like it would be cool to do a Q&A like every 1000 subscribers because that means, you know, a thousand is a lot of people. So every a thousand subscribers, there's a thousand new people watching the channel, a thousand new people that probably don't know anything about me besides what they see in the videos. And, you know, this was fun. Like I like doing the Q and A. So yeah, let's, let's do this again sometime. Anyway, if you like the video, drop a like under the video, leave a comment about anything that you want, say hi, Say you love my videos, say you hate my videos, say you want me to do more of this, say you want me to do more of that. I read and respond to every comment. So please comment. It means a lot. Um, aside from that, uh, thank you all for tuning into the video. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video. I have some great videos coming soon. I've been bogged down with schoolwork, but I'm feeling so motivated for YouTube right now. I just have like, I've had a burst of ideas come across in the last couple of weeks. I've been filming videos, just need time to edit them. So thank you everybody for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.